All right, welcome, welcome, guys. How's you guys doing tonight? So tonight we're gonna talk about the two pad, and the math can provide two group of two pad module for generated two pad, two D two pad module and three D two pad module. Use two D two pad module to generate two pad for machining workpiece in a two D plane, and three D two pad module for machining with form a three D surface. The master cam has four 2D two-pad module contour, pocket, drill, and letters. Contour description is generate the two-pad along a series of geometry entity change as a contour requiring geometry line and arc. The application is cutting external and internal part of profile. Pocket generate the two-pad to remove the material enclosed by a closed contour requires geometry closed boundary. The application is cutting pocket and facing large flat surface. Drill generate the two pad to perform drilling, boring or taping hole requires geometry point. The application is drilling, boring and taping. Letters. Generate the two pad to engrave a string of a letter required geometry letter line and arc. The application is engraved letter. So tonight we're gonna go to OML9 and try to create a pocket. All right, guys, let's go to OML9 and open that up. Here we go to uh, create rectangle, one point. The width and height, we're gonna use a uh, 40 by 80. Okay, let's go 40 by 80. Okay, and put this in the uh, corner here, in the left corner. Or click OK, drag all the way to the left corner here and drop it here. And click Escape, Alt F1, put the rectangle in the middle. And we go back to uh, our one uh, main menu. We go to X form and offset. And we're gonna click on Copy. And on opposite distance, we're gonna go ahead and put uh, six and a half, six point five, okay, and click OK. And we're gonna do all four corners: one, two, three, and four, okay. So we go back to the main menu. This time we're gonna go to uh, three and a quarter, okay, put so three and a quarter. Click OK. All four corners, OK? One, two, three, and four. OK, now go back to the main menu and click Modify and Trim. Click on one entity, OK? We're going to highlight right here. One and two. One and two, OK? One, two. One and two, trim that out. One and two, one and two, one and two, one and two. So we got all this out. Okay, we're gonna do the outside now. One, two, one, two, one here, two here, one here, two here, one, two, one, and two. One here, two here, one and two. So you got all the rectangle inside now. So we're gonna go to uh, our main menu again. We're gonna click on two pack. Then this time we're gonna go to pocket, okay? Pocket, you're gonna click right here in the middle, okay? This low bottom right here, highlight it and click on it, on the small one. See, highlight all around, right? Then click done. Then come back to our tool pad and right click, get our tool library. Okay, now scroll down to get to uh, 235, which is a quarter inch tool. That's what we want. Try to find 235 right here, quarter inch flat end mill. Click OK. And tool number one right here, say quarter flat end mill. The feed rate, plunge rate, and retracted rate, we go ahead and change that to 800.
and spin of speed we're gonna go ahead and change that to 4000 okay then we go to a pocket parameter and right here clear go ahead and check that and we're gonna put 1.0 clear and then we're gonna put on the uh, top of the stock here we're gonna put a three quarter because we use it, we use a three quarter inch material. So 0.75, then absolute, and the depth we're gonna put negative 0.5, half inch, right? Okay. Now we're going to rough finish parameter, and this time we're gonna use a parallel spiral. Okay, click on that, and click OK. Okay, now we go back to uh, contour. Click on it. We're gonna put it right here in the bottom left right here. Click it all the way around. So click done. Come back to tool library again and right, right click. Get tool from library. Now this time we gotta go ahead and use a 239, which is a half inch in mill. Okay, scroll down all the way until you find 239. Right here, half inch flat in mill. And click okay. Say tool number two right here, half inch flat in mill. We're gonna change speed rate, plunge rate, and recycle rate to 800. Okay. Okay, we're also gonna change the spindle speed to 4,000. Okay. Now we're gonna click OK. And we're gonna put right here on the depth, negative 0.76. Because all material is uh, three quarters, so we're gonna label cut off a little bit more. Okay, put negative point seventy six, and then depth cut right here. Make that check on that, and we're gonna go click on it. Maximum rough step point five. We're gonna put our tool down. We don't want to pick it up. Okay, and click okay. Then check mark on uh, multi pass. Okay, and right here find the depth. Click on that, and click okay. Then we're gonna click okay right here. Now we're going to go to uh, operation. Then click on select all, regenerate path, and verify. So now we're going to click start button, okay? Now you see, you, got, you guys are going to see this a little bit slower. If you guys want to go a little bit faster, you can. You know, this is take time. So this is called a door with a pocket, okay? There's a lot of houses out there that uh, they need this kind of a door. So, you know, you guys just go ahead and learn how to do this one step at a time and you get there. So just go ahead and live it, you know, run a little bit faster. There you go. Right there, that's what it looked like. All right, guys. Thank you, uh, guys, for the night. And uh, take care of yourself and be back here tomorrow. We're going to learn the next step, okay? So, uh, you guys have a great day and good night. Bye.